Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a minute since I've last checked in with you guys. Uh, to be exact, it was about two weeks prior to my six months on testosterone. And now on August 27th, it'll be 15 months. And they say time really flies, and I didn't realize how fast it actually flew until I tried to keep up with it. Might be why I got bad knees. I don't know, that's a mystery for another day. But um, in the time that has transpired, there's been a few things that, uh, have, that has happened. Um, just to name a few, I got my name changed, my gender marker changed, so I got a new ID, new social security card, all that, you know, legal crap, uh, paperwork stuff. So that's been changed. Um, and a huge thing, literally, I'm so glad I got it off my chest, but um, I had top surgery on July 17th. So I'm about five-ish, six-ish weeks uh, post-op, and it absolutely blows my mind that I was able to get it this year. I put on my goals list for 2017 to save money for top surgery. I didn't think that I would actually save myself. Um, so, I can't tell you how much happier I am. Um, I, did, I didn't realize how much difference I would feel after. Like I've seen people and you know, they're, you know, during doing doing their gender reassignment surgeries and watching their like before and after videos on on Facebook and and YouTube and Instagram and following all their stories and like I saw the light change in them but I didn't know how quickly that light would change for me and for a while after surgery I still felt a little dysphoric because I had to wear a compression vest for five days couldn't shower um, had drain tubes, had all this stuff, and I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like me, because I like to shower at least twice a day, or at least take one shower and a nice hot bath that Chloe tends to fall in every time, she just cannonballs right in, but, um, I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like me, and then once, once I had my, uh, reveal day, so July 21st, um, I was actually able to see my chest, and get the drains out, and kind of just have that, that, <sighs> That, that moment of just like peace and there's there's some footage and stuff of it and I don't like I didn't like cry or anything I didn't I didn't have like a big big like heart to heart with myself but it really didn't hit me until like this is my new life until after I was able to have the compression vest off completely because you still have to wear it uh, for several days after you get your drains and stuff moved to hold dressings in place and just kind of keep everything um, secure and safe and all that stuff but um, the first time I was able to put a shirt on with nothing else and just go out that that was the real moment where I was like this is my life this feels good this feels natural this feels way more in tune and I just felt so much more aligned and positive um, and the other day I was just like stretching and then I just kind of caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and then I was doing this thing like where I was just stretching like this and I saw this ripple on my shirt and like where between like where pecs are I say pecs because I'm so out of shape it's not funny but um, I saw like this like stretch in my shirt here that I've never seen before on myself ever and I've seen it on you know plenty of other guys where they, they're fit and they've just got a t-shirt on and they've got like that pool here and I, I was just super super like into that I was just like yeah I love that that's awesome can't wait to work out so then I could just kind of continue to to develop and put all that testosterone to good use and just kind of build my muscle back up um, so that's just been a huge a huge weight lifted off my shoulders and to everyone that helped me pre-op during surgery, after surgery, and then still continues to this day. Um, so they still have a couple weeks before I can really get back into doing everyday things. Um, thank you to everyone. Thank you if you came to my pre-op party, uh, my pop party, my well, actually just pop. Um, thank you to everyone that checked in with me. Che thank you to those that just you know came over, made sure I had food, made sure I had this or that, or helped me clean my house because I couldn't vacuum. Um, if you like, I, I don't know. There was, I just had a lot of over, over, an overwhelming amount of outpouring of love that uh, I'm just really thankful for, and I'm grateful to all the wonderful humans I have in my life. And I'm not going to name names because there's too many of you, and I'm just that blessed. And so thank you guys. Um, 
And then, I don't know what else is new. Um, this last few months have been pretty hard. Um, I'm not going to really get into it, but if you know me personally and you follow my Facebook or my Instagram or whatever, you know, I had some stuff happen and um, I'm still processing it and still going through it. And, um, it's rough right now and it sucks, but um, I'm, I'm trying to make every day positive and just kind of stay up because um, I could very well just slum right back down to the depression I was in a few months ago and that was just really, really hard. And I still have my days, I still have my days, but um, we all do. So, um, so thank you to those guys that uh, reached out to me then and still check in and all that stuff. But um, I'm looking forward to what the next few months are going to bring. Um, I go back to school on Monday. This is knock on wood. Um, uh, this is my final year in college. I will not be getting any sort of master's degree or graduate thing because I can barely handle getting my bachelor's because my life is just always like just it's a circus. Um, I don't even like circuses. But uh, yeah, so I will be starting school Monday. I am going back full time for the first time in what feels like forever. Um, I'm gonna try to really focus this year, get everything turned in on time. I'm, you know, apparently an English major now, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually read. <laughs> I say that, but I know I probably really won't read much. I'm a really good skimmer. Also a very good swimmer. Can't wait to be in the pool again. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm just looking forward to just kind of taking life one day at a time and just kind of processing things as they come to me and not trying to worry about things that I can't handle today that aren't happening for several tomorrows. Um, but I don't know um, much else. Um, I will I will do this. Um, I'm gonna take my shirt off. <laughs> I don't look so great like physicality wise but um, I, I will show you my scars. So um, this is me. I don't know if you can see, but uh, I had the double incision mastectomy with nipple grafting and liposuction. I think that's all the words that was there, but um, I've got scars here and here, and I've been massaging them twice a day with Mederma and then also some coconut oil, um, just to keep things loose and to keep that tissue healing. And um, so this is this is me with no shirt on, which is a new thing. Uh, it's crazy how how the sensation of feeling sun on your back feels when you've never felt it before. So like hanging out, and canoeing, and hiking, and playing with waterfalls, it was exhilarating. Um, so this is me now, and I'm gonna be taking the next, you know, forever, keeping myself in shape, keeping myself healthy, and. Um, and I'm gonna point something out that I'm gonna keep because it's it means a lot to me. Um, so let me let me grab that and I'll be right back. But um, top surgery set me free in one way, but this guy, this gross guy, this was this is the tiny binder that I wore every day. Way too many hours during the day. It's worn through, it, I don't think, there's, there's no reason to really wash it now, but I'm just gonna keep it, but there's like, just some fraying and all this stuff, but this binder, um, it's my first binder, and pretty much the only binder I ever wore, but, uh, I'm not gonna get rid of it, I'm not gonna, like, I've donated some other binders, um, but this guy I'm keeping because I always say, Believe it or not, what binded me set me free. So um, this thing, this uh, weird piece of fabric from GC2B, I swear by them. Um, they're just a lot. They're they're very comfortable and they're not as like sweaty. Um, this guy set me free, and it started to help. I, I'm not trying to cry. Ah, <sighs> um, it really just kind of kind of started a chain reaction of just. 
authenticity for myself and that's this is when I really started to blossom and getting this guy um, was 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 life changing um, and now I don't have to wear it but I will always um, it'll always have a piece of me so uh, yeah so this set me free and now this is my newfound freedom and I don't know uh, all I know is that I'm very, very thankful to all the lovely humans I have in my life. Um, I don't know when my next check-in video will be, but I'm, I'm certain I will, uh, you'll, you'll be checking in with me on Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, and if not, send me a YouTube message, check in, I don't care. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. I want everybody else happy. Um, the world's tough right now. And we need all the love and kindness and compassion and understanding and just all of the positive and, and love that we could, we could spread. So um, I, I, I reach out to you guys to continue to be lights in the world and um, just love each other. And if there is some, some, some bad things happening, try to find a way to, 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 to do good. And, and spread good and um, not make things that are about hate about even more hate because then that becomes it's just it's just an endless cycle of just depression and negativity and just just it's just not good so just love each other you don't have to understand everything about everyone but just be understanding um, be there for one another uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Just, just be good humans. This is the one life we get. Where this is this is our last shot, kind of thing. So let's just, you know, be humble, be grateful for what we have. Um, and I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be checking in sometime in the near future. But um, like I always say, if you need anything, reach out to me. I don't know how long I've been talking. This is like take 16 at this point. But um, I love you guys. Thank you for being my friend, my family, my my fill in the blank, my my whatever. Because um, I'm your whatever. Uh, but uh, I love you guys. Thank you. And um, I'll see you soon. I don't know. Bye, guys. All right, we're going to do this now. How about that? Is that what I said? I'm not sure. Out of focus phalanges. Rah.